So this is a great question that I get asked a lot, whether or not I flatten out all of my designs in Nomad Sculpt to get them ready for printing, or if I do that in my actual print slicer. The answer is I do that very last in my print slicer, which the print slicer I use is Bamboo Studio. And so in Nomad, I'll kind of estimate and watch the levels of where all my model pieces are and make sure that they're going to line up. But then I'll import it into Bamboo, and that's going to be the thing that I do last before I send it to print, is I'm going to go to that layer option I'll show y'all in a minute and I'm going to click to cut off the bottom that way I know that every single piece on this print is going to be laying flat on the bottom I'm not going to have any weird floating edges or pieces that I messed up on and got out of alignment or anything like that and that makes me more confident that it's going to print properly instead of you know I miss things all the time and so that just takes away one thing that I don't have to worry about that I know Okay, bamboo, I'm going to slice it off here. I don't have to worry about missing any little pieces or editing things that I forgot about. So I'm going to show you all how I do that real quick, and hopefully it helps. So we got the bamboo studio right here with some of the new models I'm working on. But just to show you all how I do these things to finish up the files, let's pull this in. I think this is a phoenix head. So see how this is where it's going to print off of, but that is not completely flat. So what we're going to do is I'm going to rotate a little bit. We're going to go to this button up here, which is looks like a box with the dotted line all the way through it. That's going to be your cut tool. And we're going to rotate this so that it lines up to where I had estimated that cut to be. The pink is one object, the blue is another object, so it helps you see where you want to cut. I'm going to pull this down, just make sure that is level where I want it, down, 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 and up a little, and I'm going to toss this pink part and keep the blue part, that's what these little box checks are right here, perform cut, that's because of non-manifold edges, which we I do repair, but at this moment we're not going to worry about that, and then I have a nice little bird head that is all flat and can print lovely compared to like let's toss in the head before I cut it up yes and let's just say let's try to estimate like where to toss that guy I want to slice it and show you how to how these compare so there eh? So there, after we slice this print, then we can look from the top, they both look pretty similar, but the most important thing is I'm going to look on the bottom here. This dark blue is the brim that I have turned on. So then you can see we have a nice, big, solid print plate. Nice, big, we have a nice, big, solid print area right there, which is all that kind of purpley blue. Versus here, which is like, there's only two, three tiny places actually touching the build plate right here. It's real wonky because we did not slice that off perfectly. So that is how I do that step in Bamboo Studio. Anything like Orca or Prusa Slicer are also going to be very similar with this process. Um, other slicers might be a little bit different, but I can't say for sure because I'm not as experienced with those. But this is how I do it in Bamboo. So hopefully that helps and I'll talk to you later.